morning everybody Cindy Otter here at my artsy endeavors um, I'm actually at my paint table I have received quite a few different items in the mail that I want to see how they work doing mark making so um, I'm just going to use some basic acrylic paints here uh, I have it uh, basic <laughs> see it's basic acrylic paint acrylic paints so I'm just going to throw a little bit on my palette over here on the side I have this um, big flat glass plate that I got at like a dollar store. I love this thing. Um, but we're going to put some colors down and I want to just, just make some mark making, see what it looks like. I've got three just um, spare pieces of spare. Um, watercolor paper. Boy, I can't talk this morning. And like I said, I'm just going to throw down some paint and let's see what these mark making tools do. Uh, let's throw a little purple on there. So far I've got orange, red, yellow, and purple. And again, I'm not doing anything specific here. I just want to see what these look like. So the first thing I'm going to use is this tiny piece of wood, and it's got these ridges on it. So this one, I'm actually going to use a paintbrush to paint. And let's put a little orange on here. I just want to see what this looks like when we roll it. Let's see what it does. Oh, I like it. Can you see that? Great texture. Alright, and now's where we get messy because I'm just going to do it this way. Let's see. Ooh, I like it. That's a really cool texture piece. So I definitely will be using that some more. Absolutely. Now we have a, what is this, a lollipop. Boy, I, my mind is, yeah. we're going to try this. Let's see how the lollipop works. Oh, ho, ho, I like it. Yeah. Lollipop is definitely staying in the, in the go-to box. How cool is that? That is awesome. Angela, thank you so, so much. I like that. All right, let's take, I'm just going to throw this lollipop, wipe it off a little bit. Definitely keeping that baby. Okay, these, I know how they work, and I really actually enjoy them. Um, any of your sponges like this, they work really well just to make a texture on your paint. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Oops, there we go, right here. See the texture? I love that. Oh, I really like that lollipop. So I definitely will keep the sponge, no doubt about it. I enjoy using those. Um, now we've got this inhaler, and this is a brand new inhaler, so I don't want anybody getting all excited thinking we're using something nasty, because we're not. It's brand new. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip it in my paint over here. I'm gonna start with the top end. And let's see what it does. Oh, you can make flowers with this. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to go off onto the paper. Ha! Huh. Perfect. Love it. Fantastic. All right, let's try this side. We're going to try the, the front part of it here. Same thing, I could make flowers with this. I don't know why I decided to make flowers, but this will work. Fantastic. Love it. So this I'm definitely keeping in my arsenal of things to create with. Now here's the top to it. We could use this two ways. I'm going to try the, this part first, and we're going to do it in yellow. I want to see if I get just a square or if I actually get the whole thing, the whole press. Okay, I'll get the whole press, which that's fine. Square works good too. So let's try this. Now let's go the other way. Love it. Love, love, love it. 
Isn't that cool? Fantastic. Let's set that one aside. Okay, I'm actually going to keep that with that so I know where it is. Okay, this is just a piece of um, paper towel from the kitchen. And there's a bunch of uh, rubber bands on it. So let's run this through our purple paint here. Actually, we'll have to do it through our red. I don't have enough purple over here. So I'm just running it through my red paint. Just kind of getting some paint on some of those rubber bands. And we're just going to roll it. Like it. Love the randomness of it. Isn't that cool? And I didn't, you know, I wasn't making sure to get paint on everything. I was just kind of messing around and playing with it in the paint. So that's cool. I like that. I'm going to let that dry. So I definitely will be playing around some more with those. These tire tracks intrigued me. I thought these were kind of cool. So we're going to run them through some paint over here. It's funny because when my boys were younger, I would have had tons of this stuff laying around. Now I have a granddaughter, so it's it's um, doll parts. <laughs> All right, let's just love it. All I did is I just kind of run it along in the paint. I mean, I'm not even, you know, trying really hard to get it all covered. I'm just playing because I think the randomness is more fun. I like it. Very, very cool. So I'm going to be playing around more with those. Just throw it in my water here for a second. Hopefully I can get it cleaned off. Or not. Not. Oh well, that's alright. My fingers are all paint. Woohoo! Okay, this one looks kind of intriguing. This is the finger of a glove. And it's got these little bitty dots on it. So we're going to get some paint over here on our dots. Hmm. The little dots are not standing out as much as the whole finger is, but that's okay. I don't mind. Oh, there they go. You push down really hard. You push down really hard with your finger. Let me focus it here again. Right there. See where it came through? Right there. So we're going to... Yeah, that shows them up better. All right. I like that. We'll be using that some more. Okay, this I thought was kind of cool, but I'm, I, I honestly would rather spray through it. Water on my paper. So I'm just going to use a little bit of spray I've got here. I want to see what it looks like when you spray through it. like it. Very cool. Just trying to get some of the spray out of there. Whoops. Okay, I like that. So now let's take, I gotta get some more color out here. Hold on. A little bit more red. Um, let's put some blue out here. Maybe, maybe not. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm actually sitting it in my blue paint because I want to see what kind of mark. I just set it in my blue paint. Whoops, get back here you. Okay. Okay, I don't like it that way, but I do like using it to spray through. So I'll be using this definitely to spray through. But as far as using it, you know, as a flat stamp, no. Okay, let's see what else we have. We've got some, this came from like an old hot water bottle. Um, they used to make these years and years and years ago. I don't know, do they still make them? I don't know. So let's see what this does. Oh, I like it. 
Yep, if you need lines, there you go. Um, if you can't find a pair of inexpensive flip-flops that have the straight lines on the bottom, and you see an old water bottle, there you go. That works very well. I like it. Okay. This is more of the same. These I love. I love stuff like this because you can spray in them, and they're so fun. I'm just grabbing what's here on the side, and this happens to be smooches sprays uh, if it works and this one doesn't work anymore there we go we got it working like it very cool love it that's staying that's a keeper Let's see, what else have we got going on? I think I sprayed my hand. This little guy's interesting. This looks like it's the, um, like a little leg off an octopus. So we're going to play with this guy. Let's see what he can do. Ooh, I like. Yes. Now he is cool. I don't know why I decided it was a he, but he's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. How cool is that? Love it. I'm going to set that aside to dry. And we're going to play around with this one and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the phone. It's all good. Now, um, back where I was. This is another piece of just a texture. I'm not really sure what it's made of. It's kind of like a plastic. Hi, Buster. My Buster Brown decides he wants attention. And I'm going to use this to spray through. Oh, it leaves a very fine. I like this. Look at this. It leaves a very fine print. Isn't that cool? All right, so that's definitely going to be in the keeper. And let's turn it upside down. And you know what? Upside down, it gives you the fine lines. So awesome, awesome. Can't wait. Let's see, what have we got here? This guy, it's like a mesh. So I want to actually get a clean piece of paper. Let me grab a couple. I got a couple. All right, so I'm just going to, this is almost like a handmade paper. I'm not really sure. I don't even know where I got it, but we're going to use that. Let's put this guy aside. And I want to see, first thing we're going to do is spray through. Look at that. It's a very, very fine print. Love it. So we're going to do this some more. And I'm not really sure what's in here. Um, I think it might be ink, but I'm not positive. Isn't that awful? I don't know what's in there. Okay, so I've got the fine lines that way. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I actually want to take this on another piece of paper. My cat's going to think he's going to jump up here in a second. I got a surprise for him. He's not. Ooh, look at that. Look at that pattern. That is awesome. See that? I really like that. Very, very cool. So... Bring you back out. Whoops. Bring you back out a little bit. What's up, big guy? Yeah, I hear you. What's up? I'm not sure what he wants. All right. I'm going to take these rubber bands, and I want to play around some more in this blue. So I'm just going to randomly just kind of do-do-do-do-do. Get some paint on it, right? And then we're just going to roll it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And this is actually bringing, giving me a little bit of the red and the blue. What's up, Buster? What's up? He's over here bugging me. What, buddy? What's the matter? Can you guys hear him talking to me? What's the matter? Hmm? What's the matter, big guy? 
Ooh, I like it. Move you aside. Just a minute, buddy. He's telling me he wants some loving. Okay, so what I've done, I'm going to bring it back in. Whoops, I keep playing with this, figuring it out. All right, what I've done is I've taken some of these. Um, these are the round rubberized thingies. And I've put them over, this is just a bottle of paint that um, I had gotten at Walmart quite a while ago for like 98 cents or something. And so I put them around this. So I'm going to play and let's see what they do. Um, I'm actually going to spread out my blue paint over here on my palette so I can run them through it. And just pick up some paint. Just picking up some paint. Not being... Okay, let's see what it does. Okay. I like it. Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find something to actually put these on to roll because I really like the patterns. Now, another thing we could do is what I'm doing here. I'm just putting it on my finger. Grabbing some paint. Let me try something. That's too big. That one's too small. This one's just right. <laughs> I like the patterns. I really like the patterns. So these are definitely something I'm going to play with more and um, figure out how to actually set them up so that I have them set up so I can use them a lot more and a lot better, a lot more efficient. Just playing. I like it. Really, really like them. So we're definitely going to play around with those some more. So let's see what else I've got here. Um, I have three more things that I want to do some prints from. These are coasters that I found like in a dollar store. There was a set of four and I've sent a bunch of them out. So let's see what we can do with these. Uh, let me get this mess cleaned up and I'll be right back. Okay, so now with this one I decided I don't really want to put this in the paint, so I'm actually going to bring the paint to it. So I've just got my brayer here. I've got some red paint. And we're going to paint it up, flip it over, and see what we get. Awesome! Oops. I missed. <laughs> And I forgot, I haven't tried this thing yet. This Angela sent to me, and again, if you remember, <laughs> I'm scared of snakes. I'm terrified of snakes. So, and I, yeah, it's, I gotta do something with that. But um, we're gonna try that and see what kind of mark it makes. Oh, I love that. Oops, I think I have two pieces of paper here. I do. That is awesome. Okay, so there's another one. Go to your dollar store and check out your coaster sets. All right, I have another one here. I'm just going to set that aside. This one, I want to do a different color. Let's do... Let's throw some purple down. And let's see what we got here. I'm just going to throw some purple down. Same thing, I'm just going to hit it with the... Brayer. Flip it over. Now, another thing I've heard, and I've actually heard a couple people do this, is to make these found objects or found mark making tools, I always do that, um, to make them a little bit easier to handle, uh, take bottle caps, and I've actually started collecting my bottle caps so I can do this and glue them here. Like this one, I would probably glue one here and one here. That way you're holding the bottle cap, you don't have to try to get your fingers down in it and, you know, pull the print. It makes it easier, let's put it that way. Like it. Very, very cool. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna keep that one as well. So there's two. Now the third one, this is a mixture of the first two. So we're going to try that one. Put this aside. i got to grab some more paper. This time, what did I grab? Oh, we'll use another piece of this. 
and we're just going to do a mixture of the red and purple. Oh, now look at this. You can tell. See this? You can tell just by the brayer how uneven these are. But that should give me just the circles, right? Yes, it does. Now, I think it would have been nicer to have the entire design, but hey, I'm not complaining. Definitely not complaining. So, great mark making tools. Okay, now because I said I would, I am going to try this thing here. Again, I'm not touching it. I'm terrified of these nasty little critters. I don't like them. As far as I'm concerned, they all need to go away. So I'm actually going to take, this is an old timesheet card. I got these at the dollar store a long time ago. And I'm going to take him. I'm rubbing him around in my paint over here because I want to see ugh, what kind of mark he makes. Oh, he does make a cool mark. Sorry, I can't touch these things. They're, they just, oh, it gives me nightmares. These things are just nasty, nasty creatures. I'm not scared of much, but these puppies I'm terrified of. I've always said to my husband, put me in a room with a snake and I'm gone. Mentally. I like this. Angela, you're right. It makes a really cool mark. However, my friend, um, as long as I can use it with scissors, we're good. Someday I'll tell you guys about a story of a snake here in my craft room. Trust me, it was not fun. Just a real short, sweet thing is my husband had to plug every hole in my house. I didn't care how tiny it was or how big it was. So, all right. He's different. He's cool. Will I use them again? Mm, I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, I just wanted to throw out a short video and show you what I was playing with and look at the results we got. And actually, overall, I think they're kind of cool. We got quite a few different... I love these. This is awesome. The, the lollipop and the inhaler, fantastic. Um, there's a lot of different things. I love the smallness of that. This little octopus leg, he's fantastic. The mat... So there's a whole lot out there that you can make marks with on your paint. So just another quick video. Angela, thank you so much for all the cool stuff. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I definitely will be using it more. You'll see it more in my art. And um, as always, please give a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I'll reply to all comments. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.